What's, I suppose, the fallout? How did you sort of read yesterday's performance? What went wrong? We just come out of the review, so we um, went through a few things, but the major thing to come out of the review was our, our contest work. Um, we weren't strong enough or clean enough in the contest, but then our spread both ways from that. Um, offense and defense, just not up to the standard we expect, so uh, we'll train that this week and hopefully get a better against Geelong. I think you're actually pretty even with the Bombers in contested possession. Was it that sort of outside run, and I think Cal Booker did a lot of damage, sort of that loose man back in defense as well, that, oh, and Michael Hurley. As well, did that really hurt you guys a bit? They're definitely cleaner than us in the contest, and they got the ball going their way a lot, um, and got a, a lot of easy ball, which put our backs under pressure. So, when we went forward, it wasn't as easy as uh, we would have liked. And um, as you said, Hurley was probably the, the dominating Goddard. They were the two that really got their game up and going from the back line. How much is it hurting you as well, not maybe getting out of the blocks quite quickly enough at that moment? Yeah, you got any solutions for us? That'd be great. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, it's. You know, we're, we're adjusting as every team is to the to the new warm up. Um, that's not an excuse at all. We uh, we need to start better, and we haven't. After half time, we've won nearly every game. So, uh, for us to to be able to come out of the blocks better, uh, get a better start, and stay in the game from the start is what we're after. How do you adjust that new warm up? Do you have to change things like what you might do extra stuff in the sheds beforehand? Or? Oh, we might. We might do uh, some more intense stuff on the ground as well. We're, we're throwing up everything at the moment because they're not good enough and. Um, as I said, if anyone has suggestions of what we can do, we'll, we'll when you use say them. stuff on the ground, are you sort of limited though with the, not the stuff that coaches can sort of do on the ground? Is it sort of just players? No, coaches can go on the ground and yeah. that second warm up. Uh, warm -up we just yeah. can't kick goals. So, um, but we you know, might do some handball games, some more contested stuff, get them up and going early. How did you see the ruck contest? Uh, look, I thought on reflection, Dougal was actually quite competitive against Bell Chambers. Uh, he had a couple of efforts, three or four in a row where he went against what our plan was against him and uh, we didn't get the result we're after and we got frustrated but uh, after half time he started to show some real aggression and look it's his first time he's rucked since he's done his knee, uh, he'll get better. How much of a working process is it still trying to work out what the best combination is based on team to team? Yeah it's, it's difficult, uh, a lot of teams throw up different rucks and different scenarios and this week well, we only just lost hit outs and just lost clearances so we're competitive, we're around the mark, and um, we think we've got some improvement on the ground we can do with our midfielders and our forwards to um, get a better result. So uh, we thought the rucks weren't a concern at all. And how do you weigh up the cost and benefit when it comes to putting Dougal Howard in the ruck to take him out of the back line and Stewart getting off the leash early? Yeah, and you could argue the other way with Dixon and Westhoff coming off a wing. But uh, look, whenever Paddy comes back, will be when he comes back. We're not sure yet. Uh, so we'll uh, flick people around until we can get what we want and hopefully get a good good uh, contest out of whoever's in there. Can you give us an update on Marshall and uh, Wingard? Uh, yeah, Marshall had a little bit of delayed concussion uh, from a hit in the second quarter. He uh, yeah, didn't play much of the game after half time, but we think he'll be fine. Six day break might test him. Uh, Wingard, I think, just broke his nose along with Charlie. Um, so will he play this week? Oh, I assume so, yeah. With a broken nose? Broken nose, just click it back in, don't you? What about, Charlie uh, got his click back in at half time. What about so. Tom Rockliffe, a little bit of a calf issue? I don't know he went back on, but obviously there's a bit of an issue there with his calf. Yeah, he'll get checked out the next couple of days. Um, yeah, but he was struggling through the game with his calf. He had it taped up. Uh, look, uh, he did a job for us on merit there for a while, which was really handy for us. And uh, yeah, he'll get checked out and we'll make an assessment later in the week. Is it, you don't know where Paddy is. What, what is the time on with him? Is, a, is he assessed every few days? Is he, is he still in pain or? Uh, look, he's up and down. The uh, the the Achilles is a is a weird kind of muscle and takes a little bit of time sometimes. But he could be anywhere from uh, two weeks to four or five. We just don't know. Um, as soon as he starts running pain free, then we'll ramp him up. Um, and at this stage, he's not quite there yet. So he's running and still doing a little bit, yeah. Okay. What just sorry, mate. Jasper Pitt out. Is he a chance to come back given he had twenty odd disposals and an impressive? For the yeah, it was great for him to get through a whole game and really pleasing that he uh, you know, got a bit of the ball as well. So, look, he'll be in selection mix, I, I understand, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how we go. Given the performance, do you anticipate there'll be multiple changes coming this weekend? Look, we've, uh, we've won three games in a row and lost one. You don't normally make wholesale changes. We go through the whole year, every four-week period, and be three and one would be a pretty handy side. So um, I wouldn't foresee wholesale changes. What about Sam Calpepo? Has he, has he come straight back into the side? And do you know if the investigation is concluded? 
well, his club suspension's over, but the AFL, we're not sure what they've handed down, if they're going to hand down anything. So, look, he'd be in the mix as well, I suppose, if he's, uh, if, if he's, if he's available. If he's at so he will, will come straight back if he's available, or would he have to maybe play a game with the Sandwich? Oh, that's, we'll, we'll make that decision, but uh, with the leaders, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Yep. But as far as the way the investigation's still ongoing at the moment? Ongoing, yeah. So you have to call the AFL to find out. Yep. If you can do that, it'd be great, then we'd know. <laughs> Is Tommy Rockliffe in good spirits at the moment in terms of his form? Did he feel like he's not far off it? It's just strange, I guess, for the footy public to see him not being footy displays as again. Yeah, it's interesting one. It's his fourth game with us. He didn't play any pre-season games. Um, and he was probably a little bit underdone to start with. So he's still trying to find his where he fits in our team. Um, at Brisbane, he was the, the go-to. They hit, hit the ball to him all the time. Um, he was the main man. And... Uh, whether he gets back to that here, who knows? I'm not sure if he'd be the main hit to. You have to ask Fossey, but um, you know, we've got Ollie Wines, Robbie Gray, people like that in their midfield already. So he's just adjusting to a new role, but his spirits are really high. Um, sees all the coaches about his game or what he can do and improve, and he's always doing extras. So um, a form turnaround wouldn't be far away, I wouldn't think. And the calf, is just, it's just tightness as far as you know? As far as I know, like I said, that'll get assessed and we'll find out later today, hopefully. Lady Robbie Gray was outstanding yesterday. There were a couple of times though that he could have had a set shot at goal and instead he looked to hand it off. Is there anything wrong with his kicking distance and stuff like that? Or? No, we're like every team. We like to get uh, shots at goal in certain positions and if we're not in those positions, we look to other people who are in those positions. So for him to uh, have a shot from the boundary and miss, handball one to Polek, um, you know, he knocked, Polek normally knocks that over every time as well, but no, he's fine.